Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for this video, I am going to feature the two new champions in this update. We have Tatashi with a rarity of 0.29%. And the other one is Oren with a rarity of 0.1%. So these champions are very hard to get unless you are very lucky. Also, shout out to Fudoshiki. This video wouldn't be possible without him. Okay, so we are going to evaluate these champions. First, the training areas. Guys, I changed to Gon because we are going to use that avatar later in the tournament dimensions. Okay, training areas. So Eren gives out 90% durability and 75% strength. This is the highest for a durability champion. Similar champions, we have Meliodos with 90% strength and 80% durability and Mihawk with 90% sword and 70% durability. Bad for a champion that you can get by spinning because the two other champions, you can get them by doing quests in the fight pass, okay? But if you're gonna ask me the best champion for training durability, this is still Mihawk. Because you can train sword, stat, sword stats at the same time. Okay, next up, Kakashi. Kakashi is a legendary champion. The orange or the yellow, whatever. So it gives out 80% chakra. That's so similar to one of the legendary champions, Sasuke, right? If you're familiar with him, Sasuke. And they both have specials. Sasuke increasing multiplier when you kill someone. And for Kakashi, dodging. In training areas, these champions are so good that you can compare them to some mythic champions such as Madara as well as Itachu. Okay, so if you're gonna ask me in terms of training, uh, this champion, Tatashi, is one of the best. Okay? So next up, we are going to check the skills, the buffs, the nerfs, etc. So first up is Eren. It says here that if your HP is below 50%, you will increase your damage res resistance by 45 and damage increase by 55% on all strength skills, okay? Strength. Let's try Sunfist with the damage. That's the baseline. We, do we don't have Eren yet. And our defense is... Okay, the damage is 35, falling down. So we are going to equip Eren. Again, you need your HP to be 50%, right? Lower than 50%. But in this case, check this out. See that, guys? 55% damage increase and the defense. Boom. There's also an increase in the defense. So I think there's a bug. You don't need to like uh, damage your HP or reduce it to less than 50% to enjoy the benefits of equipping Eren, okay? That's a good thing for Tournament Dimension. Next champion is Tatashi. So this champion increases your damage by 40%, decreases the damages to you by 35%, and there's a special skill of dodging. Okay, so let's try it. Baseline damage is 50 without Tatashi for that skill, and the defense, oh, 35 damage. Now let's equip Tatashi. Let's see if the damage will increase. Okay, I think the damage increase with this champion is bugged. Did you see that? Same as the baseline. For the defense. Okay, it's working. So, I don't know guys. I think we're not gonna use this champion in the tournament dimension because of the damage increase is bug but i want i still want to check if the dodge is working 15 percent chance okay oops there you go did you see that okay oh that's the sign the dark something okay at least this is working but i'm not that sure if i'm gonna use it in the tournament dimension no i think no Okay, so after this, I think we are trying or going to try and use Eren in the tournament and boss fights, okay? Tatashi is out because his damage increase is bugged. Okay, I'll be honest with this. This champion is not good for boss fights because it only increases the strength skills. And as we all know, strength skills are not that good for boss fights. You need to go near your enemies, etc. And in fighting bosses, you don't want to get near them. Or if you can, you need to burst them. 
Okay? So let's just see until what tier can we reach with this champion. Tier 1s are usually easy, but as you can see, I was damaged a lot. See that? I think the max here is tier 2. Yeah, I think that's the max tier wherein we can fight a boss using Eren and strength skills. Let's make this fast. See that, guys? It's very hard. So let's not push this champion in doing boss fights. I think this will this champion will do good in the tournament dimensions. And that is what we're gonna try after this, okay? Kakashi, unless they fix the damage bug, we're not gonna use that champion. Okay, so next up, tournament dimension. Guys, we're just gonna try it, okay? I'm not saying that this is better than Endivor or what. My champion of choice still in tournament dimension is Endivor. But we're gonna try this, just in case. Okay, oh, the enemy is kinda slow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not bad guys, not bad. One more time. I think if if we have an, an enemy that has a stun, stun spam, then I think we're gonna lose. So. Oh, by the way, I also use the bloodline. Kurama bloodline to increase the defense and damage as well. Okay, okay. Last one, guys, last one. We're about to end this video after this, so what can you say, guys? Is Eren worth it? Is Satashi worth it? In terms of training area, boss fights, or tournament dimensions? Again, if you're gonna ask me, they're go both good in training areas. Not the best, but they're good. For tournament dimensions, I still prefer Endivore, but as you can see, Eren is doing good, okay? And by the way, they need to fix Tatashi's damage increase. Okay, so that will be it. I hope that you learned something from this video. Gamer Gnome out.